Hey guys, what's going on? It's Eli, back with another review video and continuing on with the Halloween marathon review, if that's what you want to call it. And yes, you read the title for this one. I'm in fact reviewing Casper. That's right, Casper. Of course, 1995's Casper. You know what? I'm one of those few people that think it's decent. I don't think it's that too bad, you know? Um, so yeah, of course, you know... With the movie itself, uh, I think I think the story is not bad. Um, you have, of course, um, for one thing is you know, um, you have um, you have like basically the two main villains. You know, uh, Katri how do you pronounce her name? But okay, okay, just I'll just call them the two villains. I, and Eric Idle, you know, Paul. That's that's his character's name, Paul. But uh, Kari. I'm having, I am so sorry, but, you know, uh, but what's her face, you know, so the two, I'll just go by that, the two main villains, you know, they, they discover because of this treasure that's in this old, like, mansion or grand house, whatever, you know, um, and, of course, you know, they go in, and, of course, you know, Casper greets them, but, of course, they're scared because he's a ghost, and then, of course, you know, Fats, you know, you have the three other ghosts, Fatso, uh, Stinky and Stretch, you know, and Fatso being voiced by, uh, Brad Garrett, Stinky being voiced by the late Joe Lasky, and Stretch, Joe Nip Nipote, if I'm saying his, his last name right, I'm pretty sure, they, they're, they're really good as voicing those three ghosts, you know, um, with their voices, etc., so, you know, um, and then you have, uh, then you have Dr. James, uh, you have James, and you have his daughter, uh, Kathleen, played by Christina Riss Ritchie, uh, Christina Rissi, if I'm saying that last name right, and Paul, uh, no, Bill Pullman as Dr. James, what's his last name, but, you know, um, and so, you know, because they, they're brought in, and they now live, and they are now, they, mo they now moved into that house, and, of course, them, like, meeting the ghosts, you know, and just, you know, not so good at first, and those cameos in that, in, in the film, you know, um, there's a lot of cameos, you know, like, you have, uh, Father Guido, or whatever his last name is, you know, played by Don Novi Novillo, if I'm saying this in that last name right, um, well, he's been that character before, you know, that's a cameo, so his character, etc. Even Dan Aykroyd makes an appearance, you know, as, as Ray from Ghostbusters, I just love that, because, you know, who are you gonna call? Someone else, so, oh my gosh, you know, the Ghostbusters couldn't even handle that, so, you know. Um, and even, like, oh, yeah, like, Mr. Rogers kind of made a cameo on TV, but just that, so, you know, um, even when, uh, uh, Fatso, Stinky, and Stretch, they get inside of, of, uh, James, and, uh, you know, as he's, like, washing his face off and such, you know, he looks in the mirror, and we get more cameos, we get Clint Eastwood, we get Rodney Dangerfield, and even Mel Gibson, and he, and, and the Crypt Keeper. Now, I can understand that because, like, the ghosts, they, like, kind of change, like, they do this, like, a f illusion or something in the mirror, like, changing his face, or, if you get what I'm saying, but I guess I can understand that, so, you know. And, like, you know, Clint Eastwood, I'm gonna kill you. You know, your, your move, or something like that, you know, and Danger, Rodney Dangerfield, you know, you think you got it tough. I got a facelift. It was just like one underneath it. And Mel Gibson just, hmm. Then the crypt keeps, ah, and of course, that scares James a bit, you know, uh, and just, you know, like, some puns they say, you know, like, we gotta close the case here, you know, California roll, smellogram, so, it's funny, um, so yeah, and of course, <laughs> like, James, he sucks them up with a vacuum cleaner, and Fatso being the last one, he's, and the last, and what he says right before he gets fully sucked in, you know, this sucks, <laughs> that's funny, um, and of course, you know, the next day, like, you know, uh, K K Kathleen and, uh, Casper, they, you know, they, they start meeting each other again, you know, um, after the first time, not so well, but now this time, you know, and, Remember that line that Casper says? You know that you know that tingling feeling that when your foot falls asleep? I think I'm made from that. What does that mean? I I don't I don't understand that. <laughs> but anyways, and so and that scene where the three ghosts come in, they eat and such, you know, and just that thing and yet 
Kathleen and, and uh, Stretch, you know, just, like, just being mean to each other, just, you know, and, you know, hey, shut up, skin bag, piss off, and, you know, drop dead, too late, <laughs> as they laugh, so... And Kathleen going to a new school and such, and there there's this uh, there's this girl and and boy and like they kind of they kind of plan something. They you know the boy asks Kathleen out, and you know like it was kind of a setup or something. I don't know, but um, you know I think the girl's name Amber. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so. Um, yeah, and like even like uh, more talk more uh, the conversation between like the three ghosts and Dr. James, you know, and even mentioning, like, they've seen, the three ghosts have seen, uh, you know, um, uh, James's dying wife, you know, her, you know, his late wife, uh, Amelia, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's her name, yeah, um, and so, uh, yeah, and also, like, one, at one part, one sequence, like, Casper and, uh, Kathleen, they, um, uh, they go to, like, a lighthouse or something. Even Casper doing a, doing an impression of Arnold Schwarzenegger, and yet Jess Harnell does voices the impression of Arnold, you know, come with me if you want to live, so I've heard Jess Harnell's impression of Arnold Schwarzenegger, not bad. And, uh, yet right before, and yet later on, because, like, as Kathleen goes to bed and such, like, and as she's, like, falling asleep, like, Casper whispers to her, can I keep you? <laughs> don't you think that's kind of creepy? I don't know. Um, and then, like, the two, the two villains, like, you know, um, actually, because what's-her-face, she turns into a ghost, and, like, even, uh, James and the three ghosts, they go out to a bar, James gets drunk, and he's singing Jailhouse Rock, and, like, he's talking to the three ghosts, and then, as he's exiting, as he's going out through the doors, he falls to his death, basically, you know, because of construction work. Even the three ghosts, you know, they just, they were gonna kill him or something, but they just couldn't, they just couldn't, and, like, they see, like, he's about to fall over, like, eh, eh, eh. that's funny. And I forgot to mention, because even Ben Stein, he makes a cameo in this. So his can so he's one of the cameos in the film as Mr. Rugg, you know, at the beginning, where he's, I guess, you know, reading some papers and with the two main villains, you know. Um, and so, uh, you know, what's-her-face, she's now a ghost, and yet uh, Paul, played by Eric Idle, he's okay, like, you know, he's there and, like, helping her and such, but then, of course, Paul confronts her and, like, I will not have any more of this, but then she boots him out of the window, that's the last time we see him, like, what happened to him? <laughs> but, of course, she gets defeated because, you know, she does grab a hold of the, of the treasure and such, but, of course, the, I guess, uh, light, light comes in and it basically kills her, you know, um, and the, tr you know, you want to know what the treasure was? It was a baseball mitten and baseball ball, basically. <laughs> that was, and that was Casper's treasure, you know? <laughs> uh, and of course, uh, with James, like, he comes in along with the three ghosts. He's now a ghost. And there was this, uh, there was this thing, like, this machine that can, they were going to use it, like, to turn Casper back into human or, like, to become alive, you know? But of course... It had to be used for James. So, you know. Um, so he, he came back to life and such, etc. And then Amelia comes in and he gives... And she gives Casper the one time that, you know, becoming a human, you know. And then, of course, Casper dances with uh, Kathleen. She doesn't realize it's Casper at first. And that conversation between Howard... Well, no, no, James and Amelia, you know... And, um, of course, you know, Casper and Kathleen, they kiss and such, and he turns back into a ghost. All the kids, that are shocked at first, but then, you know, Casper, <laughs> boo. All the kids scream, even, like, some of them, their hairs go flying, or, you know, flying in the air. And I, right, and I notice some of the kids, like, one kid is dressed up as Fred Flintstone, and one is dressed up as the Wicked Witch. Uh, yeah, so, even the two little, even the two kids, the boy and girl, who were, I guess kind of tricking Kathleen, setting her up or something. Even the three ghosts, they kind of, they scared them because they were in a costume or something, I guess, to scare whoever, you know, but they get scared by the three ghosts, you know, if you remember that. And at, at the end of the film, because, you know, and Kathleen, you know, not bad for my first party, and Casper couldn't have been better, and James, it ain't over yet. Boys and the three ghosts, they're like wearing leopard skin such, you know, they're kind of like some rock band, I don't know what it is, but, you know, um, then, you know, rock version, I guess, of Casper, Casper, friendly ghost, 
friendliest ghost you know, you know, is played. And that's, and yeah, the movie ends. And Casper, I think, is decent. I don't think it's that too bad. I mean, you guys let me know what you think of Casper, because I think it's not that bad. So, you know. And for Casper, ooh, that's a toughie. Um, well, I'll give it, uh, I'll give it six out of ten stars. I still think that's good, you know, six out of ten stars for me, so, you know. So, yeah, again, you guys let me know what you think of Casper, what you think of it, etc., because for me, I enjoy it, and I think it's not that bad. So, once again, six out of ten stars for Casper. I hope you guys enjoyed my review of Casper. More new review videos coming your way. They're going to be awesome. Keep looking forward and continuing on with the Halloween marathon review, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> So again, um, 6 out of 10 stars for, Ca for Casper. I hope you guys enjoyed my review, and I'll see you guys in the next video slash review video. Take care, and peace out.